I'm Michelle Breiner. I'm the senior editor of Chemical Engineering Progress. I'm here today with Deborah Gruby. Um, thank you for joining us. She, My pleasure. She's with um, Operations and Safety Solutions and here to talk about big data. Thank you. So, thank you. Um, I don't think a lot of people really understand what big data is, mm -hmm. and so could you kind of give your perspective of what it means to you? Ah, that's, I'm glad you said what it means to me. Because so many people, if you get 20 people in a room, you're going to get 25 different definitions of big data. So I think what you really have to do is you have to say, personalize it. And it's not just what it means to me, but what it means to each, every person who's listening to this in their job. To me, it's how do we prevent losses of containment and, and deaths, and how do we improve the overall safety of our industry? To me, that's the important thing. That how is big data used? It's less important what it is. It's more important around how do we use it to get the outcomes to make you know the world, our, our industry more healthy, our companies more profitable, and to save lives. Not necessarily in that order. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that makes sense. Not just something that we do, but we're going to be using it to solve problems. Exactly. How do you see it changing the way, because you know, we're talking about process safety, how do you see it changing the way the chemical process industry uh, manages process safety? Great question. There's a, there's, it's, it's a couple of things. If you think of big data as a way to analyze tremendous volumes of process data, tremendous volumes of laboratory data, tremendous, a lot of data points having to do with structures, having to do with electrical systems, having to do with equipment, you can now begin to gain additional insights. And when you start to look at this data, you go, oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, I didn't learn that. So you start to have a much deeper understanding of what you're dealing with in your process. And when you get to that point, you now then begin can begin to take action to have preventative kinds of things that occur. And you find them long before a problem makes itself visible. So if you think about in near miss management work, we talk about um, near misses. And you have the near misses that you know about, but there's also the unknown near misses. The stuff that's missing, but you don't, it's, it's happening, but you don't know it's, it's occurring. The key to the, the big data that, that we work with at near miss management basically takes it together and, and starts to get underneath it. And then you can begin to look at the, um, the data and we look at these near misses. Here's an example. Many of our people listening to this might have familiarity with huge reciprocating compressors. And the, the vibration analysis on those syn gas compressors in many instances, some instances, are, is really good. And then what, and, and, but how do you find out, you know, when there's a very, very slight variation, just at the beginning of when a problem starts to form. When the average person doesn't know, no alarms have gone off, there's no outward indication there's an issue, but there's a very small problem and you can only see it by looking at all of the data. You can't see the variation on an Excel spreadsheet, but with certain software tools, you can. And then all of a sudden you understand you have a problem, you have days to fix the issue, it's not an emergency yet. It can be better scheduled. So improved maintenance contributes to better process safety. That's just one small example. Great. I, I think Excel was brought up a lot at the panel, how you know, engineers like to use Excel, but it's not the best tool for big data. It's, it's, it's cumbersome. And it takes the engineers a long time. You know what might take an engineer three to four hours in analyzing all the data in their Excel spreadsheet? might actually be able to be done by a big data tool in, you know, a few minutes. So I have a little bit more specific question. Several, several of the talks um, on big data here at the spring meeting have discussed the BP Texas City accidents. Yeah. And they've mentioned that maybe they could have been prevented if big data was in use at the time. Um, what is your perspective on that? Well, that's a ringer question for me. I, you know, worked uh, at BP for a number of years and I'm very familiar with the Texas City incident from the inside of the organization. organization. And what I would say to that would be um, a, couple, a couple of things. The first thing is that 
big data is not a single, a silver bullet. Big data is a tool that we can use to help make things safer. So while it could have given some more light on it, if the culture of the organization, and this is not just Texas City, this is any organization, there's a tremendous education process to, to implement a big data uh, program or software. There's also a huge education process with the management. And then there's a cultural aspect to big data. One of the things that I see when I work with our clients around big data is that I see that we have um, people who really want to do well. And they, and, but if you look at their operations, the operations guys don't always like to tell the, the headquarters what's going on because they're, gonna, they're, they're sort of like the duck underwater. You know, you, you think the duck is just sort of glowing, you know, gliding across the water, but you don't see that it's paddling furiously underneath the water. And, and part of what I see in, in sometimes our operations organizations, and I used to run one for DuPont, so I have this perspective, is that sometimes the folks who run it are trying to do the best they can, and they're trying not to pass the tough information up. They're trying to solve the problems locally, which is well intended. And, and so you don't know. So the boss doesn't have visibility and unintentionally puts demands, additional demands on the organization without really knowing what's going on. And big data, what it does culturally is it opens up all the decisions that need to be made and all the problems the organization has. And that's a culture change for some folks because some operations guys really hesitate sometimes to ask for help, especially when you have to ask for help up the line. Okay, so it's not the silver bullet that could have been. Yeah, it's, it's not a silver bullet. It, it's one of those things that uh, is a tool that will help, yes. But is it the silver bullet that's going to prevent the incident? I don't think so. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here with us. I appreciate you talking. My pleasure. It was an honor and a, and a delight. Great. All right.